All right, so. Plans. Hey guys, it's Mike Fitzik. How you doing? Today I'm gonna teach you how to do a tavern pizza or a bar pie. Let's make this dough. First thing we're gonna do, put water in the mixer. I'm using pretty much the coldest water that the sink can make. Um, you guys can make this recipe by hand. It's actually not too bad. Using a mixer is just so much easier. We're just gonna throw some powdered yeast in there. Give it just a quick stir. Now after that yeast is dissolved, we're gonna put in um, all-purpose flour. And now we're gonna mix it for about five to seven minutes just until everything's combined. About halfway through, we're gonna scrape down the sides. Just get any, uh, any flour that kicked up on the side off. Everything's gelled together. We are gonna add the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna set this to high, and we're gonna add just a little bit of water before we put these two ingredients in. You'll see this dough is gonna suck up the salt and sugar pretty quick. We're just gonna drop in this hefty bit of olive oil. We got about four or five minutes left of mix time, so we're gonna just kinda let this olive oil absorb into the dough, and uh, we'll be all set. We're all done here. We're gonna get this into an oiled container. We're gonna cover it. It's going in the fridge for about an hour. We wanna temper this dough down to where it's in like a controllable uh, temperature to where it's gonna rise on our terms. All right, guys, so the dough has been in the fridge for about an hour. It's feeling cold. It's feeling a little tempered down. We're gonna plop it on our work surface, break them out and boil them up. I'm gonna put down just a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick to the surface. We're chopping these up to around 200 grams. Uh, this will be the same for the rock box too. All right, now we're just gonna ball these up and we're gonna put them back in the fridge. We can use these the next day. Ideally, you're gonna want to wait about 48 hours. Remember, these are gonna sit for about two days in the fridge, so you're gonna wanna make sure you ball them up pretty evenly. You're gonna wanna take it and kinda form a little dough ball and then seal off the bottom like so. All right, so now we're just gonna take this. It's gonna go in the fridge for at least 24 hours, ideally two days. All right, guys, so it's been 48 hours. This dough has been fermenting for two days. We're gonna dredge it in some flour, roll it out as thin as we can get it, and throw it in this flaming hot oven. You can see these balls are pretty small. They're gonna stretch out very thin. So first things first, before you roll it out with the, the rolling pin, just kind of hand stretch it a little bit. Get a, a little crust formed. We're gonna roll it out, but still getting this all kind of even beforehand is uh, very advantageous. Get out our onyx rolling pin. All right, now that that thing is razor thin, we're gonna pick it up and just hand stretch it a little bit. Make sure to keep your area really floured because this dough being super thin, it's gonna be kind of tacky towards the end, so a lot of flour is okay. This one, we're just gonna do a basic margarita, sauce, cheese, some Pecorino Romano, all the way to the edge. You don't want any dough exposed. Finish it with a little bit of oregano. I'm gonna throw it in this nuclear hot oven. It's gonna take pretty quick, man. The oven's gonna be hot. The oven says about 750, but you know, you just wanna keep an eye on it while you cook it. Uh, you'll see, this is gonna end up really blistery, really crispy, um, and it's fun to cook too. So right now the deck is set really hot. The flame is on full blast. We're constantly rotating it. We're trying to get that rim nice and crispy. Yeah, so don't be like nervous if it gets a little char on it. That's like a flavor profile that's gonna play really good with this dough. All right, girls, there you have it. Super crispy, super flavorful. Pretty much this thing is all centered around the toppings. You hear that? You hear that, guys? The reason they call this a bar pie is because you can go to the bar, they serve this up. It's light, it's airy, it's easy to eat. You don't really make that much of a mess. It's truly, truly, I mean like, super crispy, super charred, delicious. Really good for um, like with a beer or sitting at the bar. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right. Yeah, it's I'm gonna piss you on. She's American too, so she respects this a little more. No, 
it's a nice, nice anybody can respect stuff. this guys fantastic <laughs> what more do you want it's going in the fridge for about an hour we're going to want to temper the dough down to where it gets within like a controllable environment 